Okay, we're going to do the next zodiac sign from Cetus, which is Cancer. Okay, let's begin how I divide the chords. This is a four-strand core. Um, the space in between the first and the second, I'll call A. Between the second and the third is B. And between the third and the fourth is C. A, B, and C. Or not. We're going to start with the left chord. There's going to be various loops, so let's kind of turn this this way and form this loop over here. We're going to grab the chord over here. We're going to go underneath the core and out through A. And it will be above the core, this part of the knot. So now we grab our chord. We're going to go through the center and we're going to go under the core and out through C. We're basically going in between that second loop. Okay, it should look something like that. Now we're going to grab our cord. We're going to go under this loop over here, the first one, and we're going to go out. Okay, now we start tightening. We grab this cord over here, and we pull fairly tight. Okay, now we grab this cord over here, and we start pulling. This is going to form a loop. It's going to look like the Groot knot. Okay, now we grab this part over here that we pulled underneath and out that loop and we tighten. Okay, let's start with our right cord. We're going to form another loop. Grab this part here. We're going to go under the core and out through C. We're going to form our loop there. We're going to grab our cord. We're going to go under the core and out through A. And we'll pull. Okay, throw the cord on the right. Now we'll grab our cord. We'll go under the first loop and out. Okay, so you should have that again. Grab this cord again on the other side and we pull. I pull fairly tight. Grab this cord over here and we start pulling. And uh, once again it's going to form a knot. I'm going to hold this cord over here down. I don't want it loose. Then I'll pull. I'll tighten. And then our cord over here that we pulled underneath that first loop we pull. Okay, let's do one more knot. This is a tricky part. Over here, you want the cord to be like that. Because when you tighten, if it's like this, it's going to form like a little wrinkle over here. And no, you don't want that. And I saw that when I was watching one of the pictures that Cetus has. All right, so we grab it, form our loop. Here's our second loop. We go under the core and out through A and over the core. We grab our cord once again. We go under the core and out through C. Okay. Then through our first loop, remember we're going to go underneath and then out the loop. The reason I'm pulling these cords is so like that you can actually see which one I'm pulling. Start again, we'll pull this one over here, which is basically coming out of the knot and we want it fairly tight 
see how I have that fairly tight there? All right, then we grab this cord again, and we start pulling. And like I told you, I like to hold that one down. So we're almost there. Pull. We tighten up. Then we grab this cord, which was under the first loop. And we tighten. And remember what I told you, that I kind of tighten this way, just to keep the knot ready for the next one. All right, so let's grab our second cord. Once again, turned it around went over the loop. Okay, now I'm going to form the loop again. Grab the cord. Go under and out through C. Then over the core. We grab our cord on the right. We go under the core and out through A. And we pull. Okay. Now I'll grab the cord again. I'm going to go underneath our first loop once more and pull it out. Okay. And once again, we start pulling. Pull with this one. I pull it fairly tight, like I told you. And then we start pulling that middle cord. And like I said, I keep it held just to make sure it's not loose when it gets to that loop, which is looks like a Genoese. Okay, then we grab our cord again, which came out of the first one, and we pull. And that's pretty much it.